Hello everyone and thanks for watching. In our last video we discussed what a VPN was and was not, and how real VPNs work. And we did catch some hell for it. That happens when you are educating the world on what is true and what is a lie. Services like NordVPN or ExpressVPN and such are not real VPNs, they are actually proxy servers. They are using the name VPN to make it sound like they are providing something important. They are not. It's all a marketing trick. We showed you how a real VPN works in the last video, now we are going to prove it. Real VPNs do a whole lots more. So for today's video we will demonstrate a VPN network using LogMeIn's Hamachi software. This is a VPN software that we use every day. So we are going to open a browser and go to www.vpn.net. We encourage you to create an account so you can play around with the different settings and learn how real VPNs work. LogMeIn's Hamachi has a free service which is limited to 5 connections or computers. There is also a premium service which allows for more connections or computers and larger VPN networks. We have a premium service. As such, because of HIPAA, USA medical privacy laws, and PCI compliance, we cannot show you our full screens, but we can show you enough for you to know you are in the right area. Once you have created an account, you should have a screen similar to this. From this screen, you can view all your existing VPN networks you created, and delete old VPN networks if you want. From here, you can also assign computers to different VPN networks. Let's create a new VPN network, so click the Add Network button. From this screen, you create your VPN network. You give your VPN network a name. We named our VPN network 1VPN Mesh. You can add a description if you like. Then you choose the type of network. Now this is important. Mesh networks allow all computers to see each other, much like a home network. So only use this type of network if you trust all the computers and people who will be in this network. This is the most versatile network type, but it is also the least secure. The hub and spoke type network is more like a server client network, where you can only see and access the computers that are designated as servers. Gateway networks you will almost never use in an everyday setting. We will let you read the description yourself, but we are pretty sure you will never use it. We will use the mesh network to connect all of our virtual computers together. Now click continue. On page 2 of the add network, you make some additional choices. We strongly encourage you to use common sense in setting up your network security. We manually approve computers via the VPN.net website. This way we know who is connecting to our networks. But as we said, if you know and trust everyone connecting, you can opt to use a lesser setting. Here you can also see the subscription fee if you need a larger VPN network. Click continue, and if you already have computers with the VPN software installed and they are ready to go, you can add them to the newly created network. Unfortunately we can't show you that screen for privacy and security reasons, but if you click finish, you will appear at the edit network screen. Here you will see the current list of computers connected to your VPN network. Under the join request, are the computers that want to join. You can approve or deny computers from there. Settings allows you to make network announcements. You can also change your join request settings. Since this VPN network will only be around long enough to do this video, the join request has been set to auto accept. There is password tab to set the network password, and you should have a password. Again, subscription if you want a bigger network, and the delete network tab. Now go to the first computer you wish to install the VPN software onto. Using your browser, go to www.vpn.net. Click the download now button and download the VPN software. Once download is complete, install it. Choose your preferred language. Accept the terms and license agreement. If you want to read it first, that is acceptable. Choose your installation location, or leave it as the default. 
decline any bundled software that wants to install also. Hamachi will begin to install. If you received a security alert, which you should, click yes, to finish the install. Once the installation is complete, click finish. But don't think you are done. We still have to connect this VPN client, to your VPN network. Now that Hamachi is running, we need to connect it to the VPN network. Click on the VPN power button as the software is showing. Remember how we said earlier it was best to create an account. Here is why. If you have an account, from here you log in. If you do not have an account, and you received the Hamachi request from someone else, click the send them a request option. But we own the VPN network we created, so we will log in. Once you have successfully logged into your account, you will receive a bubble notice, the log me and HAMACHI icon in the system tray blinks, and the software has been assigned an IPv4 and IPv6 address. With this screen, you enter the network ID number with the dashes, and the network password if there is one, and click join. If the network ID number and password you entered is correct, your log me and HAMACHI software will change to look something like this. Since this is the only computer in the VPN network at the moment, you only see the VPN network name and one of five. One being this computer. To add more computers to this VPN network, you repeat the process. Go to the next computer, go to vpn.net, download the VPN software, etc. etc. We will do this with a second virtual computer using Windows 10. As you can see, this is our two virtual computers connected to each other using a real VPN software. The green indicators means that the VPN network is working properly and that you have a secure encrypted connection between each computer. This is confirmed by opening your file explorer, and clicking on the network. Once Windows has completed the network search, both computers are showing in the network. From here you can share files, photos, documents, etc. This is what a real VPN does. Fake VPNs like ExpressVPN and NordVPN can't do this because they are not real VPNs. They are proxy servers designed to mask your internet activities. There is a clear difference between a real VPN and a fake one. This concludes our video on what a real VPN is, using the LogMe in Hamachi VPN software. This video is brought to you by Computer Garage your personal computer repair and IT specialists. With two store locations. And covering all of North Central Ohio. Super fast service and great rates. Computer Garage. Your personal computer repair and IT specialists.